I would like everyone to know that this video is being posted on a very important and very special day. Girl? It's Fluffy's birthday! Ah! <laughs> hey, Mama. Fluffy's turning nine today. Fluffy, you sleep? Hello? Wake up. Fluffy, look. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sharon. I cannot believe it's already the end of the month. But it's okay though, because if it's the end of the month, it means that we get one of these videos that I upload once a month, every single month, at the end of the month. And it's not my period of horror stories, although, spoiler alert, that's coming very soon. That's coming very next, by the way. I, there's always two types of videos I upload at the end of the month. My period horror stories and this one, which is your dirty secrets and confessions. <laughs> and this one in specific, we're giving it a fun little theme, which is your school-related dirty secrets and confessions because I know y'all are doing disgusting stuff up in school and we're about to expose it. Not we're, me. I'm exposing it. So if you want to see more, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok so you have a say in my videos. Get a chance to be in them and also get to be shadow of the day. Also make sure that you are subscribed and your post notifications are turned on. And if you would like to see more videos just like this one, go check out my dirty secrets playlist. But that being said, go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, and let's get into this. Might be a little bit traumatized after this, but <laughs> what's new? I often imagine having sex with this guy because one day in biology, he told our entire table how big his thing is, and I think about it whenever I see him. <laughs> I don't want to be the one to ruin your fantasy, but I'm going to be the one to ruin your fantasy. If there is one thing I have learned about men, and I've learned a thing or two, but the number one thing I've learned is men love to lie, sis, especially when it comes about their size. So, if a guy says he's a specific size, not to rain on their parade, but is most likely not that size at all. You know how guys like to lie about their height? Think about that. If they're willing to lie about how long they are physically, imagine how much they're willing to lie about how long their little buddy is. It's like when a guy says, yeah, I'm six foot, but he's actually 5'10". You're not at all six foot. You get what I'm saying? Guys always like to add a little bit more. Proceed with caution. I hope I didn't ruin your fantasies, but like, I'm just saying. I lost my virginity in the boys' bathroom in third grade. I am now in high school and have a class with the boy I lost it to. He sometimes brings it up. No, y'all, I was like 10 in fifth grade. So in third grade, I was like seven or eight. Y'all were doing, how did y'all know what that was? I did not know what that was until like the sixth grade. Y'all, mm -mm. You guys weren't playing Webkins? You weren't playing outside? You weren't raising some Nintendo dogs, Nintendo dogs, whatever? Like, I, I don't even want to go near boys at eight years old. I thought they had cooties. Meanwhile, y'all are spreading the cooties. And in the boys' bathroom where all the cooties are born and bred and spread? Absolutely not. No. I'm good. Third grade, dude. I remember when I left my tampon on the ground in the hallway, but like a new tampon, like a new unused tampon still in its packaging, or like a used, bloody, dirty tampon that you just let out on the hallway. Because if so, why and how? Just imagine being the person that stepped on a bloody tampon in the hallway and then wondering, why is there a bloody tampon in the hallway? Good to know that there's people out there that leave their bloody tampons in the hallway. Thank you for that. I am assuming it's bloody. I am going to assume the worst. Always expect the worst and be surprised by it not being the worst. I don't remember right now. <laughs> My best friend and boyfriend were caught doing the nasty in the disabled bathroom at school and they both got suspended. Cough, cough, karma. Yes, it is cough, cough, karma. But on another note, imagine being the poor kid in the wheelchair just trying to use the only handicapped stall in the restroom and you can't because there's two pervs getting down and dirty in a school restroom. That poor kid. Legend has it they're still waiting to this day. Aside from that, bestie and the boyfriend two fakes on the bright side it's like knocking down two birds with one stone i still feel so bad for like that one poor disabled person that's like i didn't need to be I had my first time with my boyfriend in the school bathroom a few days ago. It was a gender neutral bathroom and we almost got caught by a teacher. She knocked on the door and asked if I was okay because I was taking a while. I love how you had to specify that it was a gender neutral bathroom. It was so I want to say something about it being in the boys bathroom and being disgusting, right? I just know that poor teacher has no idea. Yep, she's doing more than all right in there, teach. She's having a blast. 
next. Guys, I, listen, I, I get when you're young and you're desperate and you have nowhere else to go. Are you that desperate to go inside a school bathroom? That's icky. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like my high school's bathrooms, my middle school's, every public school bathroom that I've ever been in my life has been the most disgusting thing ever. I think I've felt less disgusted in gas station bathrooms now that I think about it. I will never forget in high school, a girl peed in the soap dispenser. Instead of soap, we had those girls pee. And y'all have the sex in there? you will catch every single disease that ever exists. I'm pretty sure COVID actually got started in a public school restroom. <laughs> so at the beginning of school, like within the first month, there was this couple that did it in the school elevator and it broke while they were in it. Seems that the elevator is the only one that's not up and coming. <laughs> That was really bad. I honestly, I'm a little bit embarrassed. But karma, that is what you get for trying to do inappropriate, disgusting things in a school elevator. I don't know about y'all, my high school school elevator was terrifying. I don't know when the last time they checked that thing was, probably in like the 80s. Could you imagine just being in the school elevator doing inappropriate things and it just drops just because it's a school elevator and it's never been checked and it's the haunted school elevator. I'm so good. Would you rather do the nasty in a school elevator or the school bathroom? What if someone was using the elevator? What if someone like needed to get on the second floor and you're in the middle of getting down and dirty and dude's just trying to get on the elevator and now he just walked into like the making of a porno? Y'all have some guts. Disgusting ones, but you got some. My teacher got fired for watching porn during classes. He never taught anything, just told us to do work. Now he's teaching somewhere else. How? Listen, I understand accidentally letting one just slip by in the hiring process. Letting it happen again? How is this dude who is literally watching porn while on the clock? while at his job, surrounded by children, need I say and mention, get another job where he is surrounded by children. Another job where he can do the same thing he did his first job. I also, I will never understand how people can just be like, yeah, I'm gonna watch porn even though I am surrounded by kids right now. What about that moment screams, man, I'm so turned on, let's watch some porn. That is concerning. And you know what? Maybe, maybe homeschooling isn't so bad. I pooped on the floor every day as a protest to my school. And one day someone walked in on me pooping on the floor. There's no way. Why? What are you protesting that you need to poop on the floor? Uh, imagine being the person that walks in on someone pooping on the floor when the toilet is right there, literally two steps away. That's like my cat Coco. My cat Coco, she sticks her front paws in the litter box and poops outside the litter box. You are literally my cat Coco. But anyways, what protest? I'm literally about to start a protest for your protest. I am protesting that you stop protesting and stop pooping on the grounds as a protest because that is weird and disgusting. Imagine accidentally stepping on poop in the bathroom because they missed the toilet in protest. No. Earlier this school year, some kids in my school got a male teacher's phone after the teacher left the classroom. They found out his password and looked through his phone. They found a sex tape of him and his girlfriend and the kids reported him. The teacher has since been fired. Hot take, y'all. The teacher should not have been fired. And I know what I just said. How are you going to be a teacher watching inappropriate things at work? But these students broke into this teacher's phone, his private private phone where he is allowed to have private photos and videos of him and his girlfriend in intimate moments because it's his private phone. But the kids aren't expelled for breaking into this man's private phone without him being there. Imagine someone robbing your house and you get in trouble because someone robbed your house. That's what this feels like. I saw my PE teacher hooking up with another PE teacher in the girls' locker room. So I told the principal and my PE teacher found out it was me. So now I'm failing PE. <laughs> Excuse me? Listen, if you already snitched once, you might as well do it again. Because how are you going to fail me in PE? All you do in PE is show up. So obviously if you're failing me, it's because you have a vendetta against me. No. Snitches get stitches. And in this case, PE teachers are gonna get stitches too. <laughs> not me threatening violence right now. Oh no. <laughs> and I always say I'm not a violent person. <laughs> I don't want to tell you to like blackmail them, but... <laughs> In 12th grade, I had this super cute student teacher in math class. I was on Tinder one day looking for a date and I found him. I swiped right and he didn't recognize me. I lied on my profile and said I was 19. I was actually 17. He picked me up from my aunt's house and we went out for dinner. He took me to his house and dot dot dot. Anyways, I was too ashamed to go to school the next day so I stayed home from school for the next two weeks until he was done with his program. Sis, not you lying about your age. Listen, y'all. In 
and I did it before too. I was definitely on Tinder lying about my age when I was 18, but I was one of the few that actually put in my bio, not 18, I'm actually 17. So technically, did I lie? No, because I outed myself in the lie. Y'all, this is where like, honestly, some like legal issues could happen and like homeboy could get arrested and stuff like that. So like, don't lie about your age, you know? Also, maybe don't hook up with student teachers or any type of teacher in general because that gets really weird and awkward. And especially if you're underage because it gets really weird and awkward and illegal and you cannot tell me this dude did not recognize you. How are you gonna not recognize one of your own students? Honestly, he's a perv and he's full of it. He's a liar. So, you know what? Maybe, maybe he does deserve some jail time actually now that I think about it. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. How are you not gonna recognize one of your own freaking students? Also, if you were out on a date and you got intimate, how did y'all not talk about where you went to school and stuff like that? You know, like it don't add up. The math is not mathing. And he's a math teacher. I threw my dirty pad in the mean girl's locker. Waited to see your reaction and she puked. I mean, if she's the mean girl, I would simply look the other way if I saw this happen because that is what you get for being a bully. But real talk though, imagine opening your locker and a bloody pad comes out. Blech. Nope. I would, I'd become a saint after that. If I was the bully, I would never bully anyone again. I would go volunteer at the soup kitchen. I would go like volunteer with like puppies and kittens. Absolutely not. I'm good. That is bad karma. <laughs> my dad dared me to go to school nude or he would take my phone away. I did it and it was snowing that day. Sis, please call Child Protective Services immediately because why would your father do that? That's honestly kind of really creepy and pervy, but also it's abuse. I would have been like, oh really dad? Why don't you go do it, huh? And then called the cops on him for public indecency. Is that what it is for public nudity? Guess you're not gonna have a phone either in jail, dad. <laughs> Just because my friend got low grades, the school called a psychologist to see if she had mental issues. For a third grader, that must have been mortifying. Y'all, oh my God. <laughs> This reminds me of my friend. My friend when we were in elementary school, I think it was like first or second grade. <laughs> This is so bad. It's really not funny, but it's so funny. The teacher told her mom that she thought my friend was depressed because she was doing really bad in school, like she was getting really low grades. So my friend's mom starts freaking out and panicking, like, oh my God, my child's depressed. So she does all these like psych evals and goes sees all these doctors and she's like totally fine. Home sis switched schools, come to find out at her new school, it's not that she was depressed. She just couldn't see. She needed glasses <laughs> and that's why she was failing because she didn't know she just couldn't see the board. <laughs> So maybe the third grader didn't have mental issues. They just needed glasses. <laughs> well, I kissed my boyfriend's brother and best friend on our school trip. Sis, if you hate your boyfriend, just say so. Like, if you hate your boyfriend this much, just dump him. If you're gonna cheat on your partner multiple times, if you're gonna cheat on your partner in general, just dump them. I feel so bad for this boyfriend. Like, y'all, karma comes back around full circle. She's gonna bite you in the booty. If you cheat on someone, watch, you're gonna get cheated on because that's just how the circle of life works, the circle of karma, whatever we want to call it. Maybe just don't cheat and maybe this boyfriend should find a new girlfriend. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you have your own dirty school related confession that I did not get to share today but you would like to share with us, definitely leave that in the comments below. Shout out the day goes to Kaz on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be shout out the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. Like I mentioned, I upload this type of video once a month, every single month and you can find a playlist on my channel called dirty secrets and confessions, something like that. It's easy to spot. I also have another playlist called Revealing Secrets where it is every single video that is tea related of me exposing your embarrassing stories, secrets, whatever, of any and every topic possible. So lots of tea binging in that playlist. And if there's a specific video you want to see from me, definitely make sure to leave those requests in the comments below. But all that being said, make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on and I will see you guys next time. Bye!